Hello and welcome to the show. Today's topic is ISBNs. What you should know about ISBN numbers and ISBN registrations. The show today is brought to you thanks to the Your Family Story system, which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a loved one's life story through interviews. And I give you some free sections for that coming up at the end of the show. So please stick about. If you are brand new to Forever Young Autobiographies, a big hello, because this is a place where we learn to create life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on for generations. And it would be simply terrific if you could follow, subscribe, like the show, even leave it a review. It all helps. So this is an Ask Nicola question show in part of that series and as a life story writer and coach I get lots of questions about planning to write, writing life stories, polishing them and then publishing them. And this could be anything from an autobiography, a memoir, a biography or some other life story project. And the benefit of these questions of this series is that I get to answer them and share, share the the response with you all, whether you're a new writer or you're on your path to becoming more of an expert. Today's question from Rita says, Nicola, do I need an ISBN to publish a life story book for family and friends? Now this is a really good question, but firstly, terrific that you are writing a life story. Well done. It's, it's great to hear that it's for family and friends. But I want to absolutely demystify ISBNs for you quickly and easily. So let's get on with the show. The first thing I really want to clear up, it's like the elephant in the room, is what exactly does ISBN stand for? Now, ISBN stands for International Standard Book Number and it is a 13 digit number that you will see on the cover of books, normally on the back cover and it can be with or without a barcode. So you see I'm holding up a book here for those listening. It's got ISBN at the top here. Now this is a, a unique code for that book. It shows, actually it shows a number of things, but most importantly it shows who's publishing the book. And you can have an ISBN for all different types of books. So each one has its unique book, a unique number rather but then you might have a version of a book and then it will take different formats. So they will all have separate ISBN numbers. For example, you might have a book that's in paperback, hardback or hardcover. It could be made into an ebook. It could also be made into an audio book. It's the same book, but in different formats. And all of those different versions, those different formats would take their own separate ISBN number. So for this reason, it's very handy for libraries to use this ISBN number for cataloging. It helps them organise their books. So that's essentially what is an ISBN number. But let's get to the crux of this reader's question, and that is, do I need one? When do I need these ISBN numbers? So to break it down, in short, you need an ISBN number if you want to sell your book or sell an ebook of, of your book etc etc whatever format you need an ISBN number and you could be selling this to bookstores in your town or like or physical bookstores or you could be doing it online through various platforms so you will need an ISBN number to do that but for this readers question they're only publishing their book for family and friends so they do not need an ISBN however if you are printing uh, through an online portal, for example, they, you may not have an ISBN number, but you might be allocated a stock keeping unit code, a SKU, a SKU they're called. Now I got one of these when I helped my grandmother do her book, which is for family and friends. It's simply a free reference number that your printer or publisher will use for their reference only. So keep that in mind. They might allocate you a code, but it's not an ISBN. Right, we've got that cleared up. But if you do decide to use an ISBN number, perhaps say you want to put your book in a library, 
how do you register an ISBN number? Well, the, the thing is, it comes down to your country. So each country has a distributor for ISBNs. And you can find your distributor by going to the International ISBN Agency. It has a website and it lists distributors by country. So once you've identified your distributor in your country, you can purchase an ISBN. Now you can purchase one at a time or you can purchase packs of ISBNs. So you could have a few ISBNs handy to use in the future. Now you can get packs of 10, packs of 100 or packs of 1000. So of course, if you buy the packs, it's going to be cheaper per ISBN. But for an example here, I looked up my Australian distributor to buy one ISBN number is about $44. Now I know some countries are higher, some are cheaper. Like Canada, for example, ISBNs are free there. So go Canada. But what you want to do is you either know how much you want to buy, how many you want to buy, and then buy it from your country's distributor. Now, Few of you will probably be Googling this and you'll come up with some results that say free ISBNs. Yes, you can get free ISBNs from various publishers on the internet, but realize that when you're using their ISBN, you're essentially publishing under their imprint. And that could come with its own printing and distribution restrictions. So in most instances, say, Ingram Spark offers a free ISBN and also discounted ISBNs, but even they recommend that you won't be have the sole ownership or you won't have full control. So yes, it is a stopgap. There is free ISBNs out there, but if you want to have full control, if you want to be the owner of your work, then buy your own ESPN. For, um, for $44 here in Australia, you can do that. But check it out for your country. So there you have it. That's Pretty much, should I get an ISBN? Where do I get it from? I want to make it instantly clear for you with this show whether or not you need one and where to get it from. So to recap, we talked about what exactly is an ISBN, when it's essential that you get one and how you register one. Where do you get it from? Now, everything I have talked about is actually in an article on my website. So go over to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash ISBN and you can find all the links to those places that I've mentioned like the to find your distributor there's also links on things that could be helpful when you're getting to this stage of the publishing stage maybe you want to know all the different uh, uh, ways you can design a book cover front and back and then things you need to think about when you're going to print so lots of helpful information over at my website and please leave me a comment when you're at the website. Scroll to the bottom of that article and leave me a comment. Where are you in your writing process? Are you up to printing? Are you coming across the ISBN question? Please let me know. You can also drop me an email anytime from the website. Go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash contact. It would be really wonderful to hear from you and hear about your writing. So to start the show, I mentioned the free sections to the Your Family Stories system. Now the Your Family Story system is a paid product, but I'm giving some free sections away so you can get a bit of a taster to see if it is for you. As I have mentioned, it's a step-by-step -step process where you sit down with a loved one, you interview them about their life, all different facets of their life, if that's what they want. And I show you step-by-step -step how to do that. Now I've been a journalist, for a few decades and I've interviewed hundreds, not thousands of people. So I feel like I've got this uh, technique down pat and that's what I share with you in the Your Family Story system. To get the free sections, please go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash free. There'll be a little form there where you put in your name, your email, you hit OK and I will send you the link to the free sections. So please take a look. In the meantime, please Follow, subscribe, like the show. It would be terrific if you can do that because I will be back again really soon with another topic. And until then, everyone, stay safe and happy writing.